Hey guys, Adrian here from DigitalDojos.com and this is a video response to my good friend Duncan or Mobile Phone 2003. He did a video regarding his Google Chrome extensions and showcased some of his and reached out to his viewers to make video responses, etc. So this is my response and I also thought, you know, I don't use too many but may be useful to a couple of viewers out there and in watching his video and seeing the comments, I was actually able to pick up one or two extensions that I thought would help me out uh, and, you know, work in my daily workflow. Uh, so first off, I apologize. I, I've been down with a cold this whole week, so you may, I don't know if you can really tell in my voice, I'm kind of congested, all that stuff, and the and my uh, breathing is sort of heavy, because again, I've been, I've had to cough and all this stuff, and I've actually just built up, or, you know, gotten better enough to make a video, so I want to shoot a video response. All right, so I only use, looks like three, six, about seven, yeah, seven add-ons total here, nothing too crazy, but I actually am looking to uh, get a little bit more. Uh, extensions that really work in Chrome because there's tons of them out there. I was really I was looking earlier and there's really great ones, but I'm just trying to f see ones again that work in my workflow. And so far, these are the main ones I use. AdBlock Plus. Now, uh, as Duncan mentioned, he said you know he's not proud that he uses it um, and he uses it to streamline the web. And I agree, I, I use it mainly to filter out web content that I don't really like. And in my case, I'm overseas in Japan, uh, even though I am you know an American and all that. Where uh, my dad retired here. Uh, so one of the cases here, and, and, and since I'm off base, I get a lot of Japanese ads, so a lot of pre-roll Japanese ads that don't even make sense. I can't understand them. Uh, that case, um, so it really does tend to get, you know, it's 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 that much more annoying with ads uh, since they're in a language I don't understand. Um, but I, I understand for a lot of individual bloggers and stuff like that, it's the way they make money. And you can go into options here. And what I really like about this is you can whitelist domains. So I actually whitelist a lot of people I support because I really don't mind seeing those little, you know, minimalistic ads or those. Uh, small ads on sites. Uh, it really doesn't bother me in that case because uh, you know I understand that a lot of these people, like myself, I, I run revenues off of ad block or ads. So um, if I really support the people, I, I tend to disable ad block just because. Um, again, I really appreciate the work they do, and I understand that some of these people make money from ads. Not to say I purposely click on their ads, but sometimes every now and then, like Daring Fireball, sites like that, they they get sponsors that they specifically choose. So it's actually services and, and sites that I enjoy. So that's why I keep ads on on some of their sites. All right, so that's Adblock Plus. Uh, boards for Trello. Trello is a service I use recently for some clients. Basically, it's a way to get boards and show uh, easy way to collaborate by making little digital pin boards. And you can kind of see what everybody is working on and you know kind of show what you're working on. Easily drag over projects across boards. Really, really cool. I'm trying to get into it more. Basically, it's this button right here. You can see your boards. So one of my clients over at techsocial.com, I can click on this and it takes me to their board um, and it shows all the work I need to do and where I'm at in terms of uh, stuff I've submitted and stuff that still has to be submitted. So it's a really, really great service. And I'm trying to actually use it more with my own site and some people I collaborate with. Currently, Currently is a really cool way that replaces your new tab screen. Um, I'm not a fan of having a blank tab screen or having like a home page when you open up a tab screen. I used to use, uh, I think it's called Speed Dial, but I found I never really used it that much because uh, I could I just quickly go to the websites anyway that I need to go to. Uh, so currently, if I hit Command T here on the Mac, you can see I just get this really, really minimalistic interface of the current date and time. I get the weather forecast, which is really what I liked it for. So you can see it's just a quick way when I'm switching between tabs to um, see an overcast of the day and the weather and all that. And you also have settings here to adjust your location and all that jazz. All right, Evernote Web Clipper, another one that just allows me to share out to Evernote. I, I'm a pretty big user of Evernote. Um, and again, this allows me to clip stuff I find useful on the web. We get text, audio, video, and share it out to my Evernote notebooks. Google Plus is another one. I've actually just re-signed up on Google Plus. I, I deleted my accounts. Um, I'm going to switch over here to my Google Plus. Um, I used to use Google Plus a while back, and I really just stopped using it. And I was like, you know, I should give it another chance. Um, it's another social network, another way to, op uh, you know, another opportunity to uh, uh, connect with you guys, connect with viewers, all that jazz. So I actually deleted all my accounts because there was a bit of confusion. I had multiple accounts. Started this new one, so you can search me up, Adrian Kogiran, on Google Plus. You can find all the stuff I share out here. I, I tend to share articles from other people on Google Plus. Uh, and I and this uh, extension just allows me to plus one anything I find useful on the web. It's really that simple, just a plus one button. Next one, another one, but easily probably the most the or the extension I use the most, Instagram for Chrome. It just allows you to view Instagram uh, via your web browser. You simply just click this button right here. It opens up a little Instagram mobile feed here, and you can see 
Uh, you get your friend's pictures, who you're following, how long ago they uploaded it. Really minimalistic view here, and it's really nice because I don't always have my phone on me or next to me, so it's just a quick way to view Instagram on the web. I can like photos like this, just simply clicking on it. I can comment on it, I can zoom on it, or I can click this three dots right here, which actually takes me to the Instagram page. So a really nice way to view Instagram on the web. Last but not least, stylish. Stylish. Uh, Duncan talked about this. Basically, you can restyle the web with skins, user style managers that people uh, on the web, on the websites submit. I use it mainly, as you saw earlier, on Google.com, just the black theme right here, and YouTube.com. Uh, just to make it a little bit easier on the eyes, I tend to work a lot at night, and uh, it just makes it easier on the eyes, especially because I have a couple monitors here. It's not that blinding white light that's always in my face. But time to time, I tend to turn it off because sometimes when there's site revisions, uh, the user style gets messed up. So there's, there's opportunities now and then where you can simply turn it off. And it makes it really easy. You can just disable and enable the theme very, very simply. But these are the blacks, uh, black Panos themes I use for both YouTube and Google. So that is stylish. Those are my add-ons, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Love to see what your guys' extensions are. You can leave them to a video response over at Duncan's video. I'll leave his in the video description below, the original video. Love to hear what you guys use, whether it's a comment or a video response. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Don't forget to head over to digitaldojos.com.